Hello, students. So uh, I wanted to add a new intro to section three of our class of how to get started uh, one rental at a time. And really, this is going to be a discussion about why we've just gone through the first two parts, right? Part one was learning your market, helping you get criteria in place that you could look at consistently, track variables, and ultimately repeat. So you start to learn your market, and then over time, as you get comfortable, you sort of grow out. Section two, as you recall, was breaking down each of the variables that go into what I consider to be really the only calculation that matters. I happen to call this calculation yield. I done that because I like to turn all of my investment decisions into a bond. Uh, and when I look at a bond, it really is how much cash am I putting out and how much cash am I getting back? That's really what a yield is for me. But I think, it, you know, after some additional YouTube videos and some questions, not only from students, but from, from people that hear me at speaking engagements, I wanted to break down why yield is so important. But before I do that, this is the first video I'm recording in one of my new shirts. Purple is my favorite color, so I will be getting the other two in purple as well. This one is the pig, so passive income generator. So again, just uh, my daughter drew these, so I like them and I'm going to wear them proudly. But anyway, so why yield? Well, first off, I believe a lot of real estate investors, mentors, coaches, teachers, agents, try to confuse new investors, right? They throw out this term cap rate. They throw out gross rent multiplier. They throw out internal rate of return or IRR. They throw out ROI, thinking that we all define it the same way. I just, I want to step back from that, right? I, I don't want to confuse anything. Second, I wanted to have a metric that would allow me to compare, in theory, a condo with a 20 unit apartment building. I don't want to use gross rate multiplier for houses or 1% rule or anything like that for a house and then cap rate for an apartment, right? I want to make the best decisions for my cash regardless of investments. And if my, my, my comparison is, you know, ROI here and cap rate here, I'm, I'm not doing myself a service. So that was really important. So I need to compare across asset classes. The one that's really important to me that I didn't understand until, you know, we got into this, and that is I needed a way to compare beautiful properties which I call pride of ownership rentals, some people call turnkey, with dumps, you know, with stuff that should be torn down, that needs a cash infusion, and all of that stuff. That was big. Now, as I said in my book, which you see over my shoulder here, One Rental at a Time on Amazon, it, it was a mistake to buy cheap. And it was because none of my spreadsheets or none of my Excel was looking at make ready when I bought those first eight properties. Clearly a mistake, clearly a rookie move, but I believe there's lots of people doing that, right? You're looking at one house at 100 and one house at 150, going, hey, they rent for the same, but the house at 100 needs an extra 30 grand. That's what I was doing and I don't want you to make that mistake. So if I could have one metric that compares the dump with a pretty property and have it tell me which one produces a higher yield, I win. And sometimes the dump that takes all the extra cash wins. Sometimes it's the pretty properties. And really this is all about, I wanted a metric, and again I call it yield, that values my cash. Whether that's down payment cash, whether that's closing cost, whether that's make ready. I wanted a way to compare an asset that might take 10 grand with 100 grand, right? It's possible with this yield calculation that a $100,000 cash infusion will produce a better return than maybe a building I can get for a thousand bucks or 10,000 bucks. That's the beauty of the yield. And that's why I think it's important. My yield calculation, which I went through in detail with you in section two, I believe is vital. It allows you to, once you understand your market in step one, you can now go, hey, 
one two three Main Street compared with one two three um, Blue Street fourplex with one two three Jones Street apartment. You can compare all of those regardless of condition. So as I'm creating this course and I'm going to keep adding stuff, please realize that that yield calculation, the ability to compare any asset, clean or a dump in any area is very, very important. But always remember, you've got to start at step one. You've got to understand your market. You've got to become an expert of where you want to invest. And the, the beauty of all of this is once you do step one, two, and three of this class, you are now an expert. You have learned a skill, right? For whatever the cost of this course, whether it's $199 or $149, if you use a coupon code or whatnot, you are learning a skill that you never have to pay for again. You can take this skill from Fresno to Dallas to Memphis to Detroit to DC to Miami where, and anywhere in between. That's what I'm giving you. And the beauty about real estate investing is it doesn't matter what your age is. You can start really young or really old, anywhere in between. It doesn't care about your background. You can do this full-time or part-time. You can do this as a side hustle while you're working really, really hard in your day job or after you've retired as a second income. So that's what I'm trying to give you. This is going to be the new intro to step three, summarizing step one, learning your market, summarizing step two, learning the math and the variables. And step three, why yield is so important. All right, have a great day and I hope you like the shirt. Take care.